Good morning, dear children. How are you? Yes, I'm sure you all are fine. And do you enjoy online learning? We know you miss the school and the classroom. We the teachers of Vidya Vikasini English High School and Junior College are here to make your online learning interesting and joyful. Welcome class 4 learners. The subject for today is EVS 1. In the first chapter, we have seen life cycle of a butterfly. Children, do you see the life cycle here? How the egg changes into a butterfly with the help of different things in the environment. Today we will begin with our second chapter. The interrelationships between living things. Students, please keep your textbook handy. Our environment constitutes of plants, animals, land, water and a large variety of man-made things which are necessary for living. In this lesson, we will see how these components are largely interrelated and cannot be separated. Students, let's see what interrelationship mean. When plants and animals grow, they depend on each other for their needs. This is how all living things are connected with each other in the environment. Riddle, riddle, riddle. A riddle to solve. An age-old tree with a thick, strong trunk gives deep, dark shade from the scorching sun. Like an old man's beard, with many strands. It has rope for swinging from every branch. Let's solve the riddle. Which is the tree in the picture? Any guesses there? Yes, children, it is a banyan tree. Do you see? It is a huge tree with its roots hanging. It provides shade to human being and it is a home for many birds. Now can you tell plants in our surroundings are useful to us in different ways. The names of some plants are given below. For what purpose do we use their leaves? Betel vine, Vasaka that is Adulsa, Flame of forest is palace, fenugreek, methi, curry leaf plant. Students, we get medicines from them and some also add taste to our food. The needs of living things are met in their environment. We have many needs like food, water, air, clothes and shelter. All these needs are met in our surroundings. Students, please look at the picture. In fact, food, water and air are the needs of all living things. They are all fulfilled in the environment. But there are differences in the needs of each kind of living thing. Let's take for example, the water that a mouse drinks and an elephant drinks will not be the same. Think about it. Butterflies feed on the nectar of flower. Can a frog do the same? A sheep eats the leaves of shrubs. Can a tiger do the same? A fish can breathe in water. But can a pigeon do that? Children, if you take a pigeon and put it into the water, what will happen? The pigeon will die. Bulrushes grow in water. Can a lemon tree do so? Now can you tell if someday the fish thinks of leaving water and coming somewhere on the land? Will it be able 
going to survive? No, my dear children, it will die because it can only breathe the air dissolved in water. Now there is a small activity. You can try this. It's a small experiment. Take two small boxes. Label them as one and two. Add little quantity of soil and water in both of them. So two to three grains of sprouted matki in both of these boxes. Water the box number one with two spoonful of water per day. In box number two, add four spoons of water four times in a day. Continue the same process for six more days. Now students, see what you will be observing. Sapling that emerged from seed in box number one shows proper growth. And sapling that emerged from box number two started rotting. So now let's conclude. This shows that if more water is added, then the plants need, the roots of the plants start rotting. It also shows that the most saplings are not aquatic plants and cannot survive if it is given excess water. Any type of living things will be found only where all its needs are fulfilled. Now let's take the example of the tiger. Tiger lives in forest. It has stripes. It hides among the tall grasses. Its prey are the animals like deer, nilgai and the bison. Children, prey means the animal on which the tiger feeds. Its prey cannot spot the tiger in the tall grass. The hungry tiger attacks and feeds on them. The tiger inhabits where there is a water hole, hill or mountains in the area so that it can find cave for shelter. So we conclude that any type of living things are found in that area where its needs are fulfilled. Children, just imagine if the tiger comes to the city, will it be able to survive? Now, can you tell from where do we get silk? Yes, we get silk from silkworm. How are trees useful for monkeys and birds? Monkeys and birds, they live on trees. Birds build their nests. What happens if termites make a tree hollow? Students, termites are small insects that attack the tree making the tree hollow and the growth of the tree stops and finally the tree dies. Animals are our friends. We keep some animals with us to satisfy our needs. We get milk, meat, eggs, fish and several other things from animals. Some animals are useful for carrying burdens or drawing cards. Now students, burdens means the animals that carry heavy loads. Some animals help us with the farm work in fields. Dogs guard our houses. Sheep gives us wool. Now do you know excreta of domestic animals is useful for making manure and fuel. Now students, what is excreta? The waste given out by the cattle is called the excreta. The dung of cattle is made into dung cakes. They are combustible. Combustible means we can, which can burn easily. So it is used as fuel. A combustible gas called gober gas which is also obtained from cattle dung, is used as fuel. Students, look at the picture. It is a biogas cycle. 
where the cattle dung is converted into gober gas. Cattle dung is also used for plastering mud houses in the villages. Manures from cattle dung and sheep pellets are good for plants. Students, pellets is the excreta of sheep and goats. Farmer use them for growing crops. Animals which we keep with us become dear to us. We look after them. We feed them. If they fall ill, we take them to a vet. Students, vets are the doctors who are specialized in animal sickness. They treat the sick animals. So children, when we love and take care of these animals, they to return our affection. So students, we should treat the animals well. Now, this is all for today's video. We have covered up to page 10. A small activity for you. Read page number 7 to 10. Find new words and write three times each. Stay safe, stay healthy till we meet again. Thank you.